Welcome! In front of me I have Fitbit Versa 3 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the uh, Fitbit uh, application. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we can open the Fitbit application by tapping on the Fitbit icon. In the app, uh, you should see the Today page. And on, in the top left, left corner right here, you should see the device icon tap on it and here on the list of devices you should see Reversa 3 tap on it to select it now scroll down and find the option called notifications once you find it tap on it and if you don't have the required permissions uh, enabled you will see some pop-ups about the permissions for example to pairing request you can tap on pair and if you see this pop-up tap on enable notification service it will bring you to the device and app notifications here you need to find the Fitbit application tap on it, then tap on the um, switch next to allow notification access and tap on allow. And once you allow the notification access, you will be able to enable and disable the notifications. And if you enable option uh, called mirror my phone, my phone rather, it will mirror the settings from your phone. But you can disable it and here you can customize the settings to your liking and you can turn on or off the notifications for calls. You can tap on text messages and turn on or of the notifications for messages, you can select the preferred uh, messages app. Same for the calendar, you can enable and disable the notifications for calendars and select the app, email, and app notification. And here you can select uh, specific apps. And for example, if you enable the notifications for Discord by tapping on the checkbox, and you receive the notification from Discord on your phone, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. But if you disable it, it won't be forwarded to your watch. You will see it on, on your phone. So enable the notifications for the apps you like, and then go back. Next, we have the voice replies. You can enable this option to reply with the voice, quick replies, and you can select the app, and you can basically edit the quick replies here uh, to whatever you like, and then you can use them later on. Um, then we have the vibration settings. We can enable the option to vibrate when you receive the notification, or rather always vibrate. So even though the, the do not disturb mode or silent mode is enabled, the watch will vibrate anyway. And then we have the trans transliteration. You can also enable this option if you like to. And once you're done um, setting up your notifications, you can tap on more options icon. And here you can tap on send a test not call notification. And as you can see, it is working. We have the test notification for the calls, but you can also test it uh, for the application. So I enable the Discord, so notifications for Discord. So if I send myself a message on Discord, it should be popping up on our watch. We received it on our phone. Let's check if we got it uh, on our watch. And yes, we did. So it is working, and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching, if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.